So this video we can start with well, this is all about the config tool of Tower and maybe we can find out uh, the config tool operations and uh, the things that we can perform through this config tool. So the first option that we have after installing the application is the modifier IP address. So here we have the first option that is initialization. So most of the devices when you connect first time are uninitialized and uh, through this option you can initialize. And initialization is a process of setting an IP address user or IP password to the new device. And second thing is patch modify IP. You can modify the IP address on more than a single device. Like I said, by clicking here, selecting all the devices and modifying the IP address here. And also you can import the list. You can import this and save all the information on your PC. And also you can export the list. If you have, you can export. Suppose I already imported and saved the configuration and I set time I want to export that information, you can export it here. And manually add, you can add a device through the IP address that will be found on the config tool. And deleting a device, you can delete a device from here that will not show up. So, and also you can use the search icon to search the devices like your IP. I'll search here, so it will search like this. Okay, suppose you have the IP address of 442 and yes, you can search here and make sure 442.2 so you have the options right here and the most important option here you can search clearly this and second thing is a search setting and we have two options here that is the current segment search and the other segment search current segment search means that the PC having an IP address okay we have PC having an IP address and that current segment means if our PC is having a 192, 1.5 or something that the IP address. So it will show the same segment, one or something. All the devices it connected with in the LAN having the segment same, similar to the PC will be found in the config tool. If you want to search a segment that is other than the PC IP address, so you can in my case I also did the same. So I search the other segment and put the IP address and four or one. So all the devices having the similar segment showed up here. So in the main option you can use it for the searching the devices. And also we have two options uninitialized and initialized. Okay, so my own device are initialized, so they are showing up. You should click for these options, by the way. There is a device upgrade option, and you can use this if you have a file. If you have a firmware, you can select here and choose the firmware, and then click here to update the device firmware. That is an easy way to update the device. And also, we have a device configuration option, and we can perform most of the function or most of the settings from here. We will show you how. We will log in the device. Okay, you can see most of the options that we found on the encode page can be done here. We can change the mainstream and the substream resolution and everything here. Also, we can do some operations with the camera image parameters. Also, the profile management, whether you want to set the day profile or you want to schedule the profile like when it will start the day and when it will start the night time. And also, we have this option here that is time. We can set up the time here. We can reboot the device. We can export the configuration and other options we can do. We can also upgrade the license if we have. And we can install factory default encrypt configuration. We can export and then encrypt that. And the next time we can import that configuration file for the same transfer. And we can also set the password here, but make sure you know the old password. And there's some other options like sender option and TTP. So this was about uh, the config tool system. Now we have a password reset option. So we are going to explain this. Uh, separately in another video and building configuration we have already explained this and we have a cgi option here cgi commands like uh, we, we should make sure we enable the cgi on the web page of the camera that we can perform the cgi commands like through apis we can call or we can get 
both through because you know APIs do so many other functions we can perform through the API if we have a command we can put that value and we can change that information on 